Tuesday. Thank you guys, who said, everyone who sent in your roll dolls from yesterday, the witches and fantastic Mr. Fox. They were amazing. If any of you haven't had a go at them yet, please take a look on the archive. They're great little pictures and have a go at those. Today is Tuesday and we've got some really healthy, exotic tropical fruit. Let's get drawing. <music> So on my sketch paper today, what I'm going to do is we're going to be doing um, some patterns on our um, uh, on our pineapple. So what I want you to do is just draw in a quick pineapple shape and then practice doing some little bent crossover lines. Now, look at those. What this isn't is hard lines. It's not hard like, oh gosh, I went so hard in there, I broke my pencil. It's not hard lines. What we've got instead is these soft, almost like it's got a tiny bit of a curve in. And it'll make a real difference to your finished picture if you can do that nice and softly. Right, let's get drawing. <laughs> We've got a lovely little bit of um, healthy fruit today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting in my melon. And I'm going to go to just over halfway up there. I'm going to start with a straight line. This is going to be the side here. And it goes straight down. And then I'm going to bring it out in a little curve around like that. So I've got a curve. And coming down, I'm going to put another curve underneath it there like that. And then turn in the page slightly because it helps me draw the line. I'm just going to put a line in there to finish off the triangle. All right, let's get the pineapple in. So we've got a bottom. If I go with a little line first at the bottom and then I'm going to curve it on both sides. If it was a complete curve, it wouldn't stand up, would it? So each of these line, signs, sides, it's not, a, it's not an oval. It's like they're straight lines with a little curve at the top like that. And the same straight down here, straight line with a little curve. And that is our first shape. So if you pause, pop in those two shapes. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to put an extra little line at the bottom of the melon for our rind. And then we're going to put in the spiky top of the um, pineapple. So I'm going to start with a little dot and take it down. Now, it's not a triangle, really. It's quite curved. I'm going to put another line in there and a little curvy one in there like that. And then coming up, let's do two big ones here. So I want one coming in like that and another one coming out like that. And that's the second stage. So if you pause and pause it. So we're going to finish our pineapple by just doing one big spike up here at the top. And then coming down to our melon, our piece of watermelon. And I'm saying watermelon because we want to have that gorgeous pink colour of a watermelon. And we're just going to put in these. Pips here like that. Watermelon's such a fabulous summery fruit. Right, let's get painting. So we're going to do this using watercolour pencils today. And watercolour pencils, we've been using them right through the daily drawer over the last three months. They're an amazing medium easy to paint with, easy to clean up. Genuinely, as an artist, I love them. As a mum, I think I love them even more. Right, we're going to go with our dark green here and I'm going to go around each of these shapes of my spikes on my, on my pineapple with the dark green like that. And I'm not going to go over the top bit because I'm going to do that with the yellow. And then I'm going to put a bit of lighter green inside and it's not like colouring you can see it's just it's pretty light okay right and now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to turn it so I've got the light green but I've also got a bit of the dark green coming in there as well and it keeps those lines that's the joy of the watercolour pencil it'll keep the lines that we've got here like that okay so that's the top now I'm going to do 
my pineapple and what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to colour in the inside here with some yellow ochre. I'll put a bit around the outside just because it's nice to have the pigment on. Making sure my brush is really clean because at the moment my brush is full of that green pigment and I'm just going to turn this here so that I've covered the whole of the pineapple in my yellow ochre and we will be coming back to finish the pineapple off in a minute. I'm being really careful around the top, it's not like me because I am just the opposite of a careful painter. Elizabeth sniggering, I can't believe you just sniggered there Elizabeth. There we go. So as we get towards the top here, I'm just going to be careful because I don't want the green to come in. There we go, not too bad. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do my red here. I'm going to go over the pips because I can put those back in a bit later. So I'm going around in my red and I want this to be that gorgeous pinky red of a watermelon. So I'm going to put a fair bit of pigment down, make sure my brush is really, really clean. Oops. And I'll just turn that there. And I'm going to finish off here with the watermelon with a really dark green. What I'm going to do is put dark green at the edge there, but I'm not going to put it in the middle bit where it's like a little rind. And I'm going to go like that, turn that, and still with a bit of that on my brush. Here, I'll put a bit more water on. I'll take that so that second one's slightly lighter. And to finish that off, I'm going to go in with a really dark brown and I'm just going to add my pips like this. Even though it's still wet, I can still do that. I can just pop my pips in there. And then again with brown, I'm going to go around the edge of my pineapple like this. And then to remember we talked about these, it's not crisscross, is it? It's these kind of gentle, more gentle, sort of curvy lines like that. The same here and then in between not all of them but in between quite a few you can just put a little circle here and there to make it really look like a pineapple and that is our healthy tuesday daily draw fruit <laughs> enjoyed that I hope that was a nice little tropical break um and we've got something special tomorrow because it's wednesday and it's our final wednesday so i've been saving this one up actually we've had loads and loads of requests for it turns out there's this game that people like playing called minecraft so tomorrow wednesday is going to be minecraft day make sure you join us anytime from 11. Mm -hmm.